So from previous videos, you know that they, you can build new data structures based on most basic ones. And also, by changing the rules on how you operate with a data structure, then you can get new ones. For example, let, let's think about maybe we have one data structure and we want to use it differently. So let's say that you want to access the data like in an array, just going directly to the memory space, uh, you know, like using an index. But instead of an index being a number, you can use any type of value, like a string. Like you say in car, and I want the value for that car. Like uh, it's a Tesla, for example. So one common structure, data structure that is used a lot every day is the dictionary or map. So the dictionary or map is a data structure that allows you to access the data similarly to how the array does it. In an array, you can access the data using um, an index. In the case of a dictionary, you will access it using a key. So basically you will have a key and a value. So you can do something like if you had a, a map, for example, of a car and then you get the value of, of your car here so there are different ways to implement the, uh, this type of maps or dictionaries and one of the most common implementation is what is called a hash table the hash table basically how it works is you you have a, a key and a value that you want to store and hash the, the key. What it means to hash is using a hash function that its purpose is to convert arbitrary values to a fixed size number of values. So, so we can have something like this. It will map, uh, for example, in the case that we were looking for a car, and it will map it to a value from uh, 1 to uh, 1000. Right? And this is basically similar to, to the array because you could have any key and it will try to, ask, to, to map it to any of these uh, boxes, right? Like uh, in the case of a hash table, they are called buckets. So it will try to map the car, for example, I don't know, to 300 here. And it will store the car here. It would say the car and my value, let's say, is a car Tesla. So that's how the hash table works. So you will receive uh, an object, for example, and uh, the, that would be the key. You transform it with the hash function into that uh, and into a number that represents the bucket where the object will be stored with, together with the key. What happens is that sometimes the hash functions are not perfect, and most of the time, actually. So there will be collisions. There will be other objects like, I don't know, house, that maybe, so a key house also could map to the same entry 300. And what happened in the case is that uh, in order to not override the value that is here, we will have a linked list stored. And inside the linked list, then you will have uh, the car Tesla and the house, uh, I don't know, mansion, let's call it, a type of house or, or my house. So you will have it here. So in, when you get, uh, when you're looking for the house in the, in the dictionary, it will get you that and you then will find for which one of these entries have the house. And there are more complex implementations, like for example in Java, also you can convert the linked list into a tree set and be more efficient when you have large values. So these are uh, very important uh, like uh, data structures to know, and specifically the map is one that is uh, quite interesting uh, during, during uh, technical interviews because you can get uh, it, it, it shows that you know a lot about different data structures and how they work in depth. So now that we have seen a lot of data structures from linear to nonlinear, we have also seen the map. Uh, why is one better than the other? Why, sh why are there that many data structures? Why would you need them? Right. For that, if you're interested, uh, uh, that we, can, we can study complexity analysis and see why would you use one or the other? Like what, why is more efficient to use one versus another implementation. If you want to know, just keep watching the next video. All the topics that we have covered have already been covered by other people, even more knowledge of people than me, uh, in different books and uh, in, in, in courses, videos on YouTube, links. So uh, I've, I've been putting a, link, a set of links below that you can look into them and, and see if, if you want to know more about the videos. I've been trying to make them very short, but, uh, but I'm looking to more in-depth resources. And as well, I also have uh, uh, have developed some guides that where you can download, uh, that you can download for free from my blog, 
and use them as a, as a reference for when you're studying or when you want to keep, uh, you know, like just checking something very, uh, very specifically without going through a book or a very long resource. So feel free to check them out and uh, follow the links. And of course, if you like what you have seen, so just uh, like and subscribe and don't, don't forget to, to share it as well. Thank you.